okay so welcome back so in my previous video i just had up the user uh, update profile reducer and the action and let's create our component so i simply close this file go to in the user and new file that is update profile update profile.js and racfe to create my basic markup and then let's first of all go to the register to bring in some data just to save some time so let's simply go to the top just bring everything from here and fragment use state effect then the metadata use alert this and we have to bring in the update update profile oops update profile and also we have to bring in the load user okay because after updating the user you have to also update the user in the state so i will quickly call the load user function that will update the fresh data uh, that is updated okay and I'll simply i have to first of all go back and let's let's copy this this stuff so also the use effect and also the submit and also the on change so copy everything from there and let's put that right here and change it so first of all we also set the have to set the cons name set name use state and we pass in here nothing and also i will set the email okay so you have to set the name email and the avatar you don't have to target the password because i want to create a separate component for the update password okay so i will simply name email avatar avatar preview and uh, then alert dispatch and we have to bring in the only user from the auth state.auth and then we also have to bring in the const the error and is updated value and then the loading from the use selector state dot user okay and then in the use effect i will simply check that if user exists okay for example if user exists which is this one where it is uh oh we have a bring in user so whatever user in this state for example if user exists then we simply have to set the set the name to the user dot name okay then set email to the user dot email and then set avatar set avatar preview to the user dot avatar dot url okay so if the user exists in the state we simply have to set the name email and the avatar whatever in here there and then if error simply alert error and then also we have to check that if is updated so if the user is successfully updated then we simply have to alert dot success that user updated successfully then we simply have to dispatch the load user because i now i want to uh, uh, pull the or send the request to slash me and pull out the fresh data that is updated and then after updating that i simply uh, history dot push to the slash me and go to my profile and then i will simply also dispatch here the type that is uh, update i also have to bring in here so first of all import it so let's import the update profile reset from the uh, dot dot slash dot dot slash constants slash 
the user constants okay so i have to use this one i will simply dispatch this because now i also want to set is updated to false because now user has successfully updated its data all right so now in the dependencies i simply pass the dispatch then the alert error history and also is updated okay and then also we have to bring in the history from here so bring in the history okay and after that we have the submit handler and in the submit handler first of all i have to hear the name email and the avatar and then we have to dispatch here the update profile so update profile and pass the form data okay and then for the on change so uh, we don't have to now set the user because we are setting the name and the email so it's simply the remove this else and also this if okay simply save it and now let's go to our notepad and this is the update profile.html so i simply copy from the row wrapper and i copy right here so control c go back and just put in here the fragment first of all and then the metadata so meta data and we have to pass the title so title is going to be uh, update profile okay and then i put here my markup okay i simply replace here so control h so replace the class with the class name and then after that i simply have to type here on the form so on submit equal, e, equal to the submit handler and then the name so name is name and value is the name and then on change this time i have to put here the e and i want to set the name E dot target dot value all right so i simply copy this from here so control c put it here that is email and here i also put the email all right and then after that we also have to put it here the html4 so copy put it here here and also here oops and in the avatar previews uh, so put in here the avatar preview and then here i simply type accept equals to images slash all and then let's put here on change so I simply type here the on change function. Alright. And then let's also put in here the disable, which is this one. Copy. And I simply put it right here. Okay. So now I think so everything is done here. So what I do is I simply go to the app.js and here let's first of all bring in our import update profile from dot slash component slash user then the slash update profile okay and then here and we know that this is protected route so I simply duplicate this one and the path is slash v slash update okay and the component is the user profile okay then i simply save this one 
and also this one so user profile is not defined oh that that is update profile uh, this one okay so update simply save it now if we go back to my chrome go to here profile if i click on edit profile you will see here uh, my name then the email which is this one and then the image you can see that i have already put here my data so that's i type here gulam abbas the full name and if i click on update so history dot push oops another type of mistake i don't know why and so this is the basic disadvantage of using the extension that it mislacks some wrong thing so that's why most of people avoid it but they also save some time in most of the scenarios so simply save it and i think so it is updated because the error gets uh, called here okay so you can see that here the uh, user already updated Added profile let's update the avatar oh okay so we also have to basically handle the avatar on the back end I, I forgot to do that so simply go to my back end Oops, backend controller out controller so register user forgot password reset password update profile okay so we also have to update the user uh, avatar you can see this is to do so i simply type here update avatar first of all check that if request dot body dot avatar is not equal to the empty string this map so make sure that the avatar exists so if it exists then we simply type here const a uh, user is equal to the await user dot find by id find by id and in it i simply type here request dot user dot id so we get the currently logged in user and then i simply type here the image id so cons image underscore id equals to user dot avatar dot public id so we get the public id of that user because we have to delete its previous uh image also okay so we have to delete the previous image and then we have to upload upload its new image so we get its public id then i simply type here cons res equals to await cloudnary dot v2 dot uploader dot destroy so i want to destroy the image so which image i simply pass here the image id so it will delete that image from our cloudnary server and then we have to upload the new image so i simply copy the code from here that we have already written which is this one so simply copy it and i simply put that right here and then i simply type here new user data new user data dot avatar equals to i simply type here the public id which is the result dot public id and then the url which is the result dot uh, result dot secure url this one okay and then that's it we simply have to save it so it will delete the image first of all then it will upload the new uh, avatar okay and then it will set in the database right so let's simply save it and now if we go back reload the page so let's save the image now. so let's let's upload this one so open and if i click on update you will see that user updated successfully if i reload it so i think so there is some issue so i simply go back to my vs code and i go to my update profile and i think we have set up the avatar so yes here and on change so i have defined that or not so that is on change uh, oh that is capital <laughs> this is this was the other simply save it and now if i go back and click on edit profile let's choose the image let's upload uh 
this one so open now the image appears here so we click on update and that's it you will update it successfully and you can see its new image here if i reload it we will see the same image again all right so this means that our logic is working properly in my next video i want to handle this change password also okay so i will see you in the next video